once upon a time, a springtime, as a matter of fact, a nighttime, a certain flock of sheep had a visit from old Mr. Stork. Rough trip. <laughs> Well, here we are. <clears throat> Pardon me. I mean, here we are now. Please don't crowd each other. Pick out the you that you like best, and she will be your mother. Come on, you lazy little lamb. It's time you were awake. <laughs> oh, goodness me. That's not a lamb. Oh, there must be some mistake. Uh, where am I? Uh, leopards, lizards, oh dear, lynxes, <laughs> wrong thing, lambs, llamas. Oh, how did this happen to me? Lambert? But oh, that's no lamb at all. Lambert is a lion. South Africa? Oh, goodness me. I've got to do some flying. Come, Lambert. Uh, pardon me. I beg your pardon. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Sheep. I'm afraid there's been a slight bungle. <laughs> I'll take that vicious little brute and drop him in the jungle. Goodness. <laughs> heavens to Betsy. All right. Let her have it. Let her have anything she wants, for heaven's sakes. I'm only a delivery service. That's all. Well, the next morning when the sun rose, the sheep rose. <laughs> and all the little lambs were being tidied up by their mothers. And, and Lambert there, just look at the little guy. Why, he could hardly wait to run and jump and gamble with his brothers. Uh-uh. You're right. There's something wrong. The other lambs all laughed at him and teased him with a song. Lambert, you can't even buy, you can't even bleat. Your ears are too big, and so are your feet. Lambert, your tail is too short, and so is your wool. There isn't enough for one bag full. Lambert, the sheepish lion, Lambert, is always trying to be a wild and woolly sheep. Lambert, the sheepish lion. Little lambs all love to butt their heads on a stone. Lambert thought that he could lick a dozen lambs alone. While the other lambs all gathered round to watch this funny bout. He wanted to be counted in. But he was counted out. Lambert, the sheepish lion, Lambert is always trying to be a wild and woolly sheep. Lambert, the sheepish lion, the little lamb's got Lambert's goat. He was a nervous wreck. He had to hide behind his maw to save his little neck. He couldn't bore and he couldn't butt. At last, poor Lambert knew. He hated to admit that he was yellow through and through. Time changes everything. The little spring lambs were sheep by fall. And Lambert's ma, oh, was she proud of him because she had the biggest sheep, a uh, ewe, a lamb, a mutton, a... Isn't he huge? However, he's still the butt of all their jokes and takes it on the chin. But he's not ferocious like a sheep. 
but he has a sheepish grin. One night, the sheep were fast asleep. Lambert woke up with a fright, for he had heard an awful sound. And saw an awful, awful sight. A hungry wolf had found the flock. Ma'am Bert was petrified. But he was big, but he was yellow. But when he saw this gruesome sight and heard his mother crying, something snapped inside of him. was a raging lion. <laughs> Lambert's mother is so proud and the sheep have changed their tune. Lambert, the sheep is lion there's no denying now he's a wild and woolly sheep. <laughs> Instead of a sheepish, wailing and weepish, little bo peepish Oh, and incidentally, don't worry about that hungry wolf. He has a place to cling. He won't starve. Because that bush has berries every spring. <laughs>